how to estimate u using the maximum likelihood estimator. How to estimate mu, which is the mean, using the maximum likelihood estimator for the normal distribution. This is the distribution. We also say to obtain the maximum likelihood estimator, we have to recall that we take the differential log rating of the likelihood function. This time we have mean and the variance. If we differentiate this force from mean to be equal to zero, we get the mean, and that is the equation for that. So we also know that the likelihood function for the mean and variance is equal to the product I will move from n from 1 to n. Go to the products of this function f of x mean x. So, for me to obtain the solution, we have to take the differential law of this function for me to get the solution. So, how do we go about that? It means the likelihood function for the mean and variance is equal to the product of this function. This time is this. So we have one point square two half variance squared exponential minus x b so this is what we have. If we take the product of this, we will arrive at something like this. One or the square root of two pi variance square over n multiplied by exponential we get something like this because we sum this so we get x minus e plus k i ranging from 1 to n all over c variance square so this is what we get. So we have to rearrange this first before we take the log. As we see that 1 raised to the power of n is t1. We also see about this. It means the likelihood function for mean and the variance scale we want to arrange this so it will be easy for me when we take the law and thereafter take the differential. So let's arrange this first. To arrange this, you see 1 raised to the power of n is 1. So we'll bring n down to this point. We have 1 all over square root of 2 pi radian square all over n exponential minus summation of x minus u plus k all over q v minus u i only from 1 to n we can still go further to put it this way 1 all over Five Rigma squared all over n all over t. Because if we remove the square root here, we get n multiplied by half, which gives n all over t. 
multiply by this we have x minus mu all square all over 2 sigma square so we put this in this form to be 1 all over 2 pi n all over 2 sigma n over 2 nothing up to me and uh, so we can have x mean x all over 2 sigma Nothing has changed. So we keep on going with an x i and i We can remove decide to remove this one. We did cause our function to be two pi minus n over t plus Sigma minus n over t exponential minus sigma i ranging from 1 to n x i minus u over 2 sigma squared. So this is all how you cannot take the log. If you take the log, say log of L X mu sigma take the log of this will have minus n all over t log two pi plus take this function give us minus n all over 2 log z last square and if we take the log of this since it's an exponential function we have plus Sigma x i minus mu also all over two sigma squared. So this is all we get. If we want to rearrange it further, we say log L x mu sigma squared is equal to minus n all over two log 2 pi because of this negative sign say minus n all over g log variance squared because of this negative sign we say summation of x i b all squared all over 2 sigma squared so all we need to do is to take the differential of this for which you differentiate, you differentiate with respect to you see the law of this function. It's so we differentiate, we differentiate with respect to mu. The mu because it's what we are looking for and equate it to the cell. So as we are differentiating, we go here to put it up. Let's conclude it here. So the differential of this will give us The log of the likelihood function mu and variance squared is equal to the 
that is equal to the whole of this, you can differentiate it in each term. What you mean is, if you also differentiate this, you get uh, okay, you have zero plus minus zero. You differentiate this with respect to mu. So we differentiate this with respect to mu. If we differentiate this with respect to mu, we have these two we come over here. We have negative two. Sorry, sorry. I'm going to from one to n. X i minus mu. Two minus one from factors all over two z minus two, which implies that we left it two z minus xi mean this is one, so we are not writing it all over two z minus two. Of course, we said when we differentiate, we equate to zero for we to get the maximum likely estimator for mu. So we equate this to zero. If we equate this to zero, of course, this will go into this. Yes, this will cancel this. So we are left with. Summation x i minus mu, which is equal to zero. So this gives this multiplied by this will give the summation x i this multiplied by this plus you will now have n times this because it's a constant so if you sum this you get n times this so you have n mu to be equal to zero which means negative summation x i this goes over to this place you have Minus n mu. So this will cancel this. It means we can divide this side by n. So we divide both sides by n. If we do that, we get. N mu all over n is equal to the summation of x i all over n. So this will cancel this. And we are left with mu. We are left with mu. So we have that mu which is the mean, will be equal to summation of x i all over n. Of course, we know that this is our mean. So it's equal to. That means that the maximum likelihood estimator for mean is equal to this. The maximum likelihood estimator for me will give us 